Hi and welcome to my maths class. Today we are going to do a section where we discuss mutually exclusive. Now in inclusive we had used the formula PA plus PB minus PA and B is equal to PA or B. When we refer to all, we are referring to all the elements that are in the event. When we are referring to and, we are only re referring to the elements that are overlapping. How do we decide if an event is exclusive? Exclusive is actually very closely linked to inclusive. What exclusive means is that if you take an event I'm using a dice and I know my sample space is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Event A is even numbers. Event B is odd numbers less than 5. Now, what is interesting is that there is no link between the two. They are not overlapping. So what would I notice? I notice that my P of A is equal to 3 over 6. My P of B is equal to 2 over 6. My P of A or B, now remember, or means take everything. Whether they overlap or not, you're going to take it. So I'm going to take everything in A and I'm going to take everything in B. And if you count it, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it's 5 over 6. Now, when we are working with mutually exclusive, the giveaway is that the P of A and B is actually equal to 0. Now let's take this. If I was using the exact same formula, I would have had P of A or B is 5 over 6. I have that my P of A is 3 over 6. I have that my P of B is 2 over 6. And I have minus my P of A and B, which I don't know, as X. Now, if I take my X over and I bring my 5 over 6 over, so I have 3 over 6 plus 2 over 6 minus 5 over 6. And what do you notice? x is equal to 0. So, when we want to prove that something is mutually exclusive, what we need to do is, we need to say, okay, can I prove that P of A and B is equal to 0? So, in order to prove that something is mutually exclusive, it means the two events are not touching, they have no elements that are overlapping and so P of A and B is equal to 0. If I give you the following equation, it says choose a number between 1 and 10. That is what we get to choose from. Event A says choose a number less than 5. So if we had our Venn diagram, less than 5 is 1, 2, 3, 4. And then we have greater than 6, which means it's 7, 8, 9, 10. Now the numbers that are missing is 5 and 6. So we have our sample space, we have our event A, and we have our event B. Now you can clearly see that, listen, this is an exclusive event. Why? There is no link between it. They would ask you to prove that this is mutually exclusive by means of a formula. How do we do that? We go and we say, okay, to prove that something is mutually exclusive, we need to prove that P of A and B is equal to 0. Now, I know that P of A or B is equal to P of A plus P of B minus P of A 
and B. Now P of A is 4 over 10. P of B is 4 over 10. And when I look at it, P of A or B is 8 over 10 minus X. By method of solving, you got X is equal to 0. So the event is mutually exclusive. Thank you for watching.